that. Yeah, just, you know, first I want to um, thank all the fans that came out today. Uh, we really, really appreciate their support. And, and you know, games like this are hard because we didn't give them a lot of opportunities to get, get engaged and get behind us. But um, great win for our men's team last night. And to see, you know, that fan base come out again today uh, means the world to all of us. And we really appreciate it. And uh, those are the ones that sting a little bit deeper because you hate to disappoint. And so um, appreciate them. Um, hats off to Arkansas. I thought, you know, Mike had his team ready to go. Um, they've had our number for, for a while now, and um, you know, I thought I thought we were in a really good place going into this game, and so didn't necessarily see it playing out this way. Uh, I think um, it, it, it didn't look like the same Missouri team that we'd seen uh, over the last couple months, and. So we're just going to have to, um, in my opinion, this is going to be one that we're going to have to let go of. Um, you know, there's a lot of opportunities, and I've said this after, uh, after our wins, and I've said it after our losses. It's one game, and a lot of opportunities to impact that resume, and we're going to have to flush it, and, and next game up, we're not going to get too high or too low, and um, we're just going to show up and, and try and win the, game, win the day tomorrow. Um, I thought offensively in that first half, um, we got sped up. We had some good looks that didn't fall, and then we took some maybe rush shots, off-balance shots, uh, shots that maybe weren't best for you know different players, and um, that was hard. I was proud of the resiliency though on the defensive end. I thought we showed a lot of grit defensively. Uh, did a decent job crashing the offensive boards in the first quarter, uh, and that's it. We we didn't get enough um, you know from second shot opportunities for the second third and fourth quarter, and we got to be better in, in those situations when the ball's not falling for us. Any questions? Robin, I know there's that 11-minute stretch where you guys weren't able to hit a field goal. I mean, on offense in those kind of moments, what, what do you look for? How do you try to get out of the phone? What do you tell your team? Yeah, I mean, just make sure we're taking good rhythm shots. Um, you know, felt like um, at halftime we talked a lot about just making sure we stayed in our screens and, you know, making sure they weren't blowing them up and having good separation from there. Um, you know, trying to get a little bit more going downhill, uh, playing inside out, but nothing seemed to be working for us very well this evening except for troop shots. Troop had a heck of a game. Robin, we've seen you guys come from behind a lot this season. Just what was kind of the difference today that you guys just couldn't catch up? Um, you know, I just, uh, I, I haven't seen a game where we've shot this bad for a while. And uh, I think we've got some really good shooters on this team. And, um, you know, it's just some nights you have those nights. I thought defensively we really did a great job of staying engaged in that first half and most of, of the second half until they really started to pull away. So I was, I was proud. I think we pulled it to within... Was it 12 there, uh, late in the third? Was that, was that accurate? And uh, so we kept fighting, you know, and I just felt, man, if we could hit a couple more shots, we could, we could maybe open it up a little bit. But, um, you know, tonight wasn't our night, and sometimes that happens. It just, it's that simple. I don't think it's, um, you know, any deeper than that. They shot the ball real well. We missed some shots. We had some defensive breakdowns uh, that we've got to, Go back, watch film, break down, and, and get better with. But um, tonight was their night. Um, Haley and Haley, you know, during that kind of cold stretch in the first half, do you all feel like y'all were getting to the looks that you were wanting to and the shots just weren't falling? Or was it something that Arkansas was doing to y'all to slow you down? Um, <clears throat> I think we did get some good looks. I thought we had some open shots that we missed. And then um, kind of some rush shots, like Coach P said, maybe out of transition. and. Um, not the best shot that we could get with that early in the shot clock. Um, and, you know, anytime your shot's not falling, you have to get it back on defense. And I thought we did that. And then, you know, it's just a tough night when you look at the stat sheet. I just went into the game with confidence that, you know, if I'm going to take a shot, I'm going to knock it down. And uh, I think it's something that my team's been needing me to do, have that confidence and that aggressiveness. And, um, you know, then it feels pretty good to see the first one go in and the second one. So uh, it kind of builds you up a little bit more. So just happy to do whatever I can for the team.
I think just as veterans being able to communicate, you know, we you talk a lot on the defensive end about communication, but I think it's just as important on the offensive end and just you know flowing into our motion and then reading how they're playing out of it to get that movement that we want. Robin, you mentioned a lot about just the unselfishness of this team and obviously the shots weren't falling but the assists were down today and Mama I think had most of them. Just were you seeing a lot of rush shots, maybe not looking for the next pass? I definitely think we had some of those tonight. I thought there were some opportunities to um, you know, make that one more pass that, that we missed for whatever reason. Um, you know, I thought, and, and I want to give Arkansas credit too. I mean, I thought they defended really well. They switched when they needed to switch and, you know, they, they recovered and, and uh, they got good length. Um, so, but, but I do think there's a lot of that that we did to ourselves. And, and again, I want to comment again, I thought we did a really good job with our resiliency on the defensive end, especially in that first half. Um, but some nights it's just not your night. And uh, again, I, I love this team. I love how they show up every day. They want it. Um, you know, they've worked really, really hard. And so now we've got to find a way to steal one back somewhere. And there's plenty of opportunities in, in this league to do that. But um, is there things that we've got to clean up? There's no doubt about it. You know, we'll go back and we'll look at our spacing. We'll look at our screening action. Uh, we'll look at some of the quick shots. Um, you know, how do we how do we show up in transition um, execution on, on some play calls? So we'll break all that down um, and, and learn from it and get better. I'm going to the defense, when you assess the defense as a whole, is that something where you can kind of look at the offense side of well, one, one end to help the other out? And how, how would you assess that? Um, tonight, yeah. I, I thought we played pretty solid defense um, in the first half. Um, second half wasn't wasn't pleased with that. I thought uh, we did a pretty poor job communicating. Uh, There's several times we had to go with one cutter, um, didn't communicate it on some screening action. Um, you know, we didn't make that rotation for those dump downs. They do such a great job of playing downhill, fighting for that lane line. We talked a lot about falling in that hole and covering that post with the weak side defender. And uh, I mean, a handful of times they got those dump down <coughs> passes where we didn't make that rotation. So, um, you know, it's, it's got to be better and it's got to be better in this league and on nights when the ball's not falling. Um, I thought we did a really good job in the first half of keeping them off the free throw line. They averaged 25 free throw attempts a game. And then the second half, I thought we had some ticky tack fouls that, um, you know, we weren't having in that first half. So, um, again, a, a team like this that's so efficient, uh, playing downhill, paint points, free throw points, and uh, shooting it behind the arc. Uh, you can't have those bailouts at the rim. So uh, I, I was concerned about the paint going into the game. Uh, they scored 40 of their 77 points in the paint. Um, you know, that's an area that we're going to have to get better at. Avery only played in seven minutes. Is there something you just didn't like, see out of match up with? Yeah, I think in games like this, it's like you're searching for your offense. I think she gives you a lot defensively from a rebounding standpoint, uh, but you're searching for your offense a little bit. And at the same time, as a coach, you know that if you're not scoring, you got to get some stops. And so it's, it's um, you know, I don't know that it's a, it's a perfect science and, you know, just trying to find the right rotations out there. For Haley and Haley, just being leaders on this team, just What's your message to the rest of your team kind of as you guys work to get back on track? I, I mean, after both of our losses prior to this one, I feel like we've responded really well. So I think it's kind of the same message as, you know, we have to be hungry to learn when we go back and watch film and make the adjustments and then just go into Thursday night with even more fire. And you know, like she said, this one really hurts, but we can steal one back. There's a lot of opportunities left. It's a long season. You know, we can't get too high or too low, but just got to keep staying to the grind and grittiness and toughness, the things we pride ourselves on. We'll take one or two more if anybody has. Robin, with this loss, we'll talk kind of a little bit about flushing it, and you've got two difficult opponents coming up in LSU and South Carolina. Is What's kind of the mentality that you got to bring into that, into those games? Is it a different mentality from just – against like a regular SEC opponent or does the mentality change? Well, you know, when I talk about flushing, it doesn't mean that we won't go back and watch film and learn from it and, and get better. But, you know, I think the highs and lows emotionally in that locker room, they've got to stay pretty solid. Um, and, 
you know, I think we've got a veteran group that, you know, they've been through the fires and they understand what that needs to look like in our approach. But really for us, it's, it's not about how many, who's, it, it's about winning tomorrow. It, it is, and it's, and it's one day at a time. So tomorrow uh, is Monday, which will be a day off. So win the recovery. Get in the training room, take care of your body, get some rest, win the recovery. And then on Tuesday, win the film session. It, it can't be about what our next two or three or four opponents look like. It's got to be one day at a time um, and just focused on being a better version of ourselves than we were the day before. And it's that, that simple to us in our locker room. And that's just where our mindset is. And so, uh, again, there's um, SEC is filled with a lot of great opportunities. And um, anything can happen on any given night. And uh, I love to go to battle with these girls. And, and I know this one's going to hurt all of us. And so we've got we've to keep those shoulders back and head up and encourage each other and, and uh, be better from it. And I think they've done that consistently throughout the course of the season so far. So that's the game plan moving forward. We'll take one more if anybody has it. Robin, I know, I know LSU comes here and that's a really, I mean, a really good team. I'm not, how, when you talk about just winning at every step of the way, I mean, does that carry a little bit more weight when you're going up against a team that's 16 and out a little bit? Like, like you just mentioned, one step at a time, but do you focus on one part of the defense against a team that's really offensively good like LSU? Uh, I have not even dove into LSU scout yet, um, but they, I mean, Kim's a great coach and they're off to a great start in the SEC. Um, but so are we. And, and um, you know, again, we've got a, a couple blemishes that they don't have, um, but it's a really resilient group and it's a tough group. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll prepare. And um, I think. I think they're looking forward to the opportunity. Um, I think, you know, in the SEC, it's like everyone wants to know who's your rivalry. Everybody is. I mean, it's just, you know, they're, they're battles every night out, which makes the SEC so fun. So, um, again, we're not going to get too high. We're not going to get too low, win, lose. Um, it's just it's, it's a process, and it's one step at a time, and got to learn, grow, and be better from it. All right. Thanks, guys.